This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Marianne Cushy. Let's get right into your top local stories here. The Board of Supervisors voted unanimously in favor of a resolution of no confidence in Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, calling for his immediate resignation. They voted after hearing a public comment from more than two dozen San Diegans. Today's vote is symbolic, though, because the board does not actually have the power to remove him from office. Fletcher's resignation date is his decision, and he previously said that he would resign on May 15th. That's when he'll complete inpatient treatment for trauma, alcohol abuse, and PTSD. This board is committed to moving forward with the business of the people of San Diego County. And again, I want to thank the over 20,000 uh, county employees who continue to work day to day to make sure that our constituents and our community continues to be served. The call for him to step down comes after a former MTS employee filed a civil lawsuit accusing Fletcher, Fletcher of sexual harassment, assault and retaliation. Fletcher has denied, though, all wrongdoing. The Bonita doctor accused of botching a surgery that left a woman dead is now facing a new murder charge. It happened almost five years ago, but prosecutors upped the charges and asked for $5 million bail. The DA said that there was some new information in the death of 36-year-old Megan Espinoza. She was having breast augmentation surgery when she went into cardiac arrest. The DA claims the doctor didn't do enough to try to save her and used untrained staff in the operating room. During the time that Ms. Espinoza was suffocating in that surgical room, um, the defendant was out seeing other patients. Nothing has changed. Despite what the, what the prosecution says about you know, these interviews with individuals, nothing's changed from a medical perspective. Uh, it is the same case. So now to ramp, ramp this up to a murder charge is something I've never seen here. I've been practicing for 35 years, criminal, doing only criminal defense, and I've never seen anything like this. The doctor's attorney claims Chacon did what he had to do to try to save the patient. The judge set his bail at a half a million dollars. The doctor will be back in court in June. Homeless encampments could soon be banned in the city of San Diego. Later this week, the city council will discuss an ordinance that could outlaw them in public places. Yesterday, a group of homeless advocates rallied outside City Hall, voicing their opposition to the plan. They also addressed council members. When a homeless person is moved off a section of sidewalk, they don't disappear. They're still homeless. They still need help. What we've done by rousting them out is made them harder to find. City leaders previously said the ordinance would not be enforced until more resources were created for the homeless. City leaders will discuss the idea on Thursday. Well, work is now underway to repair more than 150 streetlights in Pacific Beach, in Point Loma, and Logan Heights. That's all thanks to $3 million in new federal funding. The gas lamp style lights were installed back in the 50s. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria says the city is also in need of electricians to help maintain them. There are fewer than 10 electricians to keep up with 60,000 street lights. One resident said that he appreciates the effort. It can get a bit dark in some places. Um, I will admit as a six foot four man, maybe I don't think about that as much as some of the other residents. But, you know, I feel generally pretty safe in PB. But at the same time, having street lights definitely adds to the safety component. It's nice to have. 160 lights are expected to be repaired because of this effort. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hey, Marianne, after another foggy start to the day, we're going to be seeing a pretty nice afternoon. Now for the coast, for your Talker Tuesday, uh, we could be seeing the clouds lingering a little bit today, so maybe some partial clearing at the coast mid-60s. In the valleys, we'll be sunny in around 77. Mountains will be sunny, a little breezy, but nice in the mountains, low 70s today. Tomorrow at the coast, we'll be seeing more clouds, cooler temperatures. Thursday, also cooler with a very slight shower chance. Would be just a light shower, and then we're drying up and warming up for the weekend. Thanks, Sheena. Some big changes could be coming to your sdg &E bill. We break down a new proposal from the company. And if you've been to the beach lately, you might have noticed these. We'll explain. Don't go anywhere.
Calling all morning people. The crack of dawn. Up and at them. Ready to get this day started, people. We have the team for you. Wake up with NBC7 News today, starting at 4.30. We were made for mornings. Keeping you in the know before anybody else is up. With accuracy you can't get anywhere else, no matter how early. Bringing you coverage you count on. Like only morning people can do. NBC7 News today, weekday mornings, starting at 4.30. This is San Diego News Daily. Welcome back, everybody. More local news to tell you about right now. A Syrian family who recently immigrated to El Cajon's, uh, to El Cajon, I should say, is trying to rebuild now after a fire forced their business to shut down. The two alarm fire happened on Sunday night, destroying El Alakiti perfumes and gifts. A leasing agency told NBC7 that members of the homeless community often took up shelter in front of the shop. The cause of the fire has not been determined. It's not the first time, though, that something like this has happened. They broke the door and they took our register. Does it concern? Yes, for, you know, customer safety. Belin Jimenez is the manager at Amas, Taqueria, and Cochina. And six months ago, the store was burglarized. Nobody was hurt in that fire, and repairs are estimated to be more than $60,000. We have an update on this story for you of a baby found by Border Patrol agents in a man's car at a checkpoint. It was back in March when agents found the 10-month-old being smuggled by a man at the San Clemente checkpoint. When they determined he wasn't the father, they took the man into custody. Well, now we've learned that the child's mother had given him to the coyote, hoping he would take the baby to her uncle, who lives in L.A. The baby was taken into Child Protective Services and then foster care. CPS fought to keep him in the U.S. instead of sending him back to his mother in Mexico. We had to go uh, in front of a judge in order to convince a judge that it was the baby's mother, uh, the most important person to have in custody this baby. In the end, the judge decided that she deserved to have custody. The amount you pay every month for electricity could change to a lower, more stable rate under a proposal just submitted by SDG&E. The proposal isn't necessarily looking to change your rates, but rather adjust the cost of delivering power to your home based on your household income. SDG&E is looking at federal funding and credits, as well as appealing to state legislators to make it easier for families to pay. As we go through this, uh, this very unprecedented clean energy transition, we need to make sure that customers can afford it. It's really a fundamental change, a transformational change of how customers pay for electricity in the state. A decision could be reached by the California Public Utilities Commission by July of next year. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your first alert forecast right after this. Only one team in San Diego is certified most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan ahead with our hour-by-hour -hour forecasts. And knowing exactly when rain will move in. First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. After our fog this morning, we're going to see increasing sunshine at the coast. But some of the clouds may be a little bit stubborn today along the coastline, so maybe just some partial clearing. Inland valleys will be mostly sunny around 77. Mountains sunny, breezy, beautiful day there. Deserts hot in the 90s. We could see some more fog move in tonight and for tomorrow morning. We're cooling down Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. A slight chance of maybe some light showers, but not amounting to much into the weekend. We're drying up and warming up. Thanks, Sheena. Well, you may have heard about these little creatures, the ones yeah, right there. They kind of look translucent, don't they? If you've been to the beach lately, you might have noticed a bunch of them. They look small. They've got a lot of tentacles. Jellyfish that are stuck in the sand is what they look like. They're called Valella Valella, and they've been spotted in Pacific Beach. They're actually cousins of jellyfish and coral. They float through the ocean using a translucent sail to catch the wind. And when the strong winds, like ones from recent storms, well, they can get pushed ashore. More news on NBC7.com.